In Kyoto, around the time of the Muromachi Shogunate, there was an area at the southern tip of the Boso Peninsula known as Awa, where lived two families, the Satomi and the Anzai. The house of Satomi was in a state of near starvation and called upon the house of Anzai for help. Instead of helping, Lord Kagatsura Anzai sent 2,000 troops to attack the Satomi. The Anzai were aided by some strange, devilish power. And in the end, after many fruitless attempts at counterattack, there was nothing the Satomi could do but barricade themselves in at Takita Castle. Provisions were near depletion, and countless numbers had already died of starvation. The entire clan was on the brink of death. I'm sorry, but we have nothing more to eat. Has it been 15 years already since Hachiro died? No, it's actually been 16 years since my father died. Really? It's been that long. Hmm. Hachiro really helped us out. It was because of his efforts that we made it this far. Daisuke, you must come back alive. Yes. I will bring you the head of the Kegetsura without fail. That's not what I mean. I should have married you to Fusei by now. Daisuke and Yoshinari may not come back alive. They exchanged farewell cups of water.
Yoshinari, I want the Lord's taken last. Understand? Yes, sir. Daisuke, I am counting on you to back up Yoshinari. Yes, sir. If we fail, we are doomed. The surprise attack must succeed. But I promise you, I will have Kegasura's head, even if I must die for it. Please return safely. If it is my fate not to return, you must somehow find a way to do whatever is best for the Satomi clan. We have come to kill you! without farmers and samurai going hungry and killing each other. I think it would be wonderful if Awa could become such a utopia. Would that be so strange? I wanted to help somehow. I am very sorry, Father, to have fled so shamelessly. It doesn't matter now. The last desperate attack had ended in dismal failure. Now the only alternatives available to the Satomi clan were to surrender to the Anzai or to end it all themselves. Oh, Yatsufusa. Yatsufusa. Perhaps you would like to try to help save the house of Satomi. Though he could not possibly have imagined the consequences, Yoshizane Satomi was about to say something in the face of certain death that would prove irreversible. not of this world. Perhaps Kagetsura was using some kind of black magic. The last thing I saw was Daisuke, all alone and standing tall. Shortly after that, I heard him scream. Thank you. 
Mitsuru and Zai's head. <laughs> you saved us, Yatsufusa. Well done there, old boy. Without their lord, Kagatsura Anzai, the Anzai troops would be easily defeated now that the tables had been turned on them. Bolstered by this turn of events in favor of the Satomi, the people of Awa, along with Yoshizani's troops, took up arms and went out to fight. The leaderless Anzai troops scattered like rats over the countryside. After Tatayama Castle was taken over by the Satomi, Yoshizani's eldest son, Yoshinari, was declared the castle's new lord. The heroic Yatsufusa was given the royal treatment at Takita Castle and could always be found close by the side of the grieving Princess Fusei. Father! He simply won't eat a thing. We feed him exactly the same food that we ourselves eat. I even hired an attendant just for him. So what else does he expect from us, hmm? <gasps> What are you doing, Yatsufusa? Please stop this, Yatsufusa. Yatsufusa, stop it! You dare to rebel against the fact that you're a mere beast? Please don't, Father! Is it so trivial for you to break your word? Yatsufusa, how would you like to try and help out the house of Satomi? <coughs> Kagetsuru Anzai, you bastard! Yatsufusa, if you bring me Kagetsura's head, I'll feed you as much as you can eat. Okay, then. I'll give you your own territory. <laughs> no good, eh? Well, how about I give you Princess Fusei's hand in marriage? How could you make such a brazen promise? I only said it in jest, because he's just a stupid beast and couldn't possibly have understood my words. In any case, a promise is a promise. What do you mean? Despite the protestations of her father, Yoshizane, and mother, Isanako, the princess remained steadfast. Father, if you would return evil for Yatsufusa's good deed, what distinguishes you from one such as Kagetsura Anzai? <gasps> Father, Mother, please consider me as you would someone already deceased. When you were very young, you once suffered from a severe illness. We summoned a healer who gave me these prayer beads to pray for you with. <gasps> How did these characters suddenly appear? Yatsufusa, as was promised to you, I've become your wife, even though it was only to be a marriage of the heart. And away into the sacred Tomi Mountains they went, a marriage of human and beast embarking on a strange new life together. The days and months went by until nearly a year had passed. Yetsufusa, don't you dare come in here. If you come one step closer, I'll kill myself.
have conceived Yatsufusa's offspring. <laughs> you will give birth to a litter of eight. There is your own cursed brood of half-breed mongrel. Now you will descend into hell! Kanamari Daisuke Takanori barely managed to escape death, and had now made his way into the Tomi Mountains. Having failed in his task, he had no desire to return to his position in the Satomi clan. But after getting wind of the Princess Fusei's marriage to Yatsufusa, he had immediately set off after them. to death, Daisuke. There is something that you must do for me. My body is possessed by an evil spirit that wants revenge on the Satomi clan. You must somehow break the curse.
journey to change destiny awaits you. So let us travel together. After that, Daisuke disappeared from Awa. To soothe the spirit of Princess Fuse, it is said that he became a monk and took the name of Chudai. But the nature of the eight beads that flew to the four winds was still a mystery. We made it. They were eight dog warriors caught up in some strange, twisted fate. Their kaleidoscope of unfortunate destiny just beginning to turn. Ah uh -huh. 